What is going on, everyone? Welcome into Big Time Football Talk. So, uh, you know, Chris Sims has, uh, you know, been in the news uh, lately for his quarterback rankings. And, uh, you know, I kind of I, I kind of really thought about his rankings. Uh, first, I'll read them off to you. Zach Wilson from BYU, number one. Trevor Lawrence from Clemson, number two. Mac Jones from Alabama, number three. Kellen Mod from Texas A, number four. Justin Fields from Ohio State, number five. And then number six, Trey Lance, North Dakota State, rounds out the top six. And, uh, you know, I, I, I don't agree with this list. I got number uh, Justin Fields, number two. Trevor Lawrence, number one. And then Zach Wilson, three. And then, you know, Kellen Mond, I kind of uh, – I didn't really have in my top five, but I think Chris Sims, you know, he talked about what he, what, you know, the big thing with his rankings, he watched, you know, objectively with, uh, you know, he didn't come in with a mindset, hey, I, you know, I'm not going to like this guy. I already, you know, I've heard bad things about this guy. I what may not like him as much. He, uh, you know, doesn't watch a lot of co college football and he just went by what he saw, you know. And uh, I got to thinking that, you know, maybe. I was kind of missing something with Kellen Mond and I really went back and watched more tape on him and he, uh, you know, really impressed me with his ability to throw and he does a great job sitting in the pocket and, uh, you know, going through his progression and, uh, you know, could, could have even scrambled a little bit more, but yeah, with Chris Sims, you know, doing this, I think it, it was a good change of pace because, you know, a lot of the top analysts go with the consensus guys, you know, most people, you know, Trevor Lawrence was penciled in number one. And I think, you know, it makes big headlines because not a lot of people want to go against that. And that goes with a lot of, you know, the, a lot of things in life. It's you, you, people, you know, people kind of are tend to be more followers. And, uh, you know, in this case, I think this, this shakeup of rankings kind of, you know, has made people, you know, even myself included, go back and, you know, watch a little more tape on Kellen Mond and, you know, people that were kind of, you know, maybe are, you know, starting to get more and more um, thinking highly of uh, Zach Wilson. So, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of have – I think a lot of people writ, wrote Kellen Mott off after the Alabama game, did not have a very good game. That was a game that was on national television and, uh, you know, the CBS SEC big-time game. But, uh, yeah, he has uh, – Sims has some concerns with uh, Justin Fields, which is fair, um, which is reason, reasonable to say. But, you know, I just go – go back to he is just a you know a phenomenal athlete and I could uh, I could really see his game you know translating well but yeah I think uh yeah Chris Sims uh, even as much hate as he had I think this was good a good shake up in the rankings because it had you know people some people really started to think you know more deeply I think it's like I think Trevor Lawrence has been penciled in as the number one since uh you know, 2018 when he won that national title game against Alabama and, you know, maybe even, you know, back to high school when he was the number one recruit. But, it's you know, it's good to have these discussions and have these debates and, you know, it's not always, uh, you know, it's not always good for everyone just to have the agree, agree with the consensus. But, uh, yeah, so. Thanks for tuning in to Big Time Football Talk. Till next time, peace.